Jonathan Casey, I'm the museum archivist and Edward Jones Research Center manager here at the National World War I Museum and Memorial. I'm standing in the research level gallery where we have just opened an exhibit about the political cartoonist Louis Raymakers, uh, who's probably the best known cartoonist, political cartoonist of World War I. Uh, Louis Raymakers was Dutch and the Netherlands was neutral in the war, but uh, Raymakers' personality, his, his opinions about warfare, he was very anti uh, military anti anti war he was a pacifist and a, uh, uh, somebody who was um, saw was opposed to what was happening. Uh, his cartoons express his feelings about that um, that the war was just a, a, a something that was unnecessary and was it was just um, uh, something that was destroying the cultural heritage uh, of, of of Europe. Uh, a lot of his a lot of his cartoons are German. He he tried not to take sides, but his cartoons do come out being, for the most part, anti-German because he saw Germany as the aggressor in the war, uh, as the one that was, was, um, had started the war through its policies and was continuing the war. Specifically, he saw the Kaiser, the Emperor of Germany, Kaiser Wilhelm II, as the, as the person most responsible for that, as the leader of Germany. Uh, and um, his cartoons really influenced a lot of people uh, and governments, and especially the United States. He had influence that, that would eventually uh, lead us to make a decision to enter the war uh, in April 1917.